I have a question for you. You're told to build an email list. You're told to build a social media following. But why is it that no one tells you the little tricks and things that you can do on your own website to start building your email list? No, not an opt-in box, that's outdated now. Heck, you can automatically start building a social media following all from your website just by using this one line of code. Hi, my name is Jimmy Kim and in this video, I wanna show you a simple yet powerful unblockable technology that's already on everyone's computer that you can start leveraging today. And it's done all by pasting one line of code on your blog, website, landing page or your e-commerce store. There is a reason why large companies like CNN, Facebook, New York Times and eBay use this technology. Simply put, it works. It's called push notifications. Now, this technology has been released just a few months ago and until now, push notifications have been a simple pop-up that appears on top of your browser like this. But truth be told, just like ad blindness, people are starting to lose interest. And when I noticed this trend, I knew that as a marketer, in order to use this in digital marketing, we'd have to elevate the look and feel along with the features in order to maximize the potential that push notifications had. So I set out to do three things. I needed it to pop, meaning I wanted it to be brandable with my own logo, my own words, center on the page and make it look appealing. I needed to track it in every movement. I wouldn't call myself an internet marketer if I wasn't tracking every movement of my visitor. I quickly realized that it was the perfect time to ask for their email address. When they allow my push notifications, they have already given me the micro commitment to say yes, why not take the one step further and ask for their email address and build my email list? That's when Push Connect and Notify was born. I took an existing technology that was already getting boring, refreshed it, added new features, making it exciting and relevant again. But instead of just talking about it, let's jump right in and show you exactly how it works and give you the full walkthrough of Push Connect Notify in action. Okay, we're here now on the Push Connect Notify dashboard, which is 100% cloud-based, so it's hosted for you and Everything is done through this dashboard. We'll first start off and show you exactly what you're gonna get when you're in your account. Now, when you're in your account, you're gonna be able to set up all your information from your password to your names to your autoresponders. Now, we're connected to nine of the top autoresponders from GetResponse, Aweber, MailChimp, SendLane, Constant Contact, ActiveCampaign, Infusionsoft, and iContact and ConvertKit. You can go ahead and set that up simply by clicking on exactly what you wanna do and set, just following the simple settings. Once you're set up there, you can go back to the dashboard and you can create your very first campaign. Okay, we're gonna start off by naming your campaign. So ABC12345 is going to be what I'm gonna call this campaign. Once you're in the campaign settings, it's very simple. It's just a simple point and click solution. So here, you're gonna set up your domain name. So we're gonna go ahead and set this up. And this will allow it in which you can only use your domain name that it's set for. So if you copy this code onto any site, it won't work unless the domain name is set for this campaign. Then you can set up your optional thank you page for when they allow that push notification to happen. This is 100% optional. You don't have to use it, but if you wanted to do it, you can take them to whatever page you want to take them after they allow it or and or capture the email address. Here, you can check your permission delay box. So if you want that box to pop up in five seconds, 10 seconds, 20 seconds, 50 seconds, seconds you can do that right now last you have the option to check and set up your campaign now I've already integrated send lane into here so I can go ahead and click on it and pick one of my lists that I want to put it into so I'm gonna do that now and I'm gonna go ahead and put uh, my information here so right now the, the optional and basic is final setup step into your email address below you can change that to whatever you want to save it and once you hit you just hit save now on the right hand side you can go ahead and change everything from your icon to the words that you want to pop up to even to your button so we'll go ahead and change this on this demo this is a demo setting you can change whatever here allow button now and you can go ahead and change even the words allow us to notify you now we've got preset templates here in which you can change the icon image or you can choose your own file, including a GIF that you can place in there as well if you like. Once you're done, you hit save changes and we're gonna go to campaign details. Once you go to campaign details, you'll be taken to our dashboard. You've got a couple options. One, you've got your WordPress plugin. You can use that plugin on anything you want that is WordPress based, or you can connect it directly to your Shopify app as well. Now in here, you're gonna see a couple things. One, you've got the optional uh, notepad where you can put some notes in here. You've got your geo-targeting, your Chrome, Firefox, Safari, and email subscribers as well. You wanna go ahead and grab your embed code right here. 
This is all it takes. I'm gonna copy that and we're gonna copy that to the clipboard and it's gonna be showing that you can copy it right there. Now we're gonna jump to a page and exactly where you're gonna see how it works on a live demo. Okay, we're on a page here. I'm gonna go ahead and refresh it to show you that this page has nothing installed on this point. And I'm gonna jump over to preferences to show you that inside of the notification settings of blocking, you're gonna be actually able to content right here. It's gonna say pop block up notices. To show you that push connect notified does not comply with the typical uh, pop-up notification so that you won't have this problem occur. All right, so here we are on the site. I'm gonna go ahead and paste the code real quick, that same code that we pasted into my file. I'm gonna paste it right into where we did and hit paste and we're done. I'm gonna hit save changes. And once we jump on this page, I'm gonna refresh this page. You'll see immediately that it pops up right here. This is a demo setting, allow us to notify you. Now you've got two options here. One, if I don't allow to notify and I go ahead and close this out, You'll see that it pops up and once I leave this page and I come back anytime, it's going to show up. Now, let me go ahead and allow this setting to show you what happens. What happens when you allow is once you do it, a box will pop up immediately to your user. Once the user sees this notification, they'll have an option to always receive notifications. Now, because I set up the optional email opt-in, once I hit that, it's gonna offer me the option to enter my email address. So let's go ahead and enter an email address here and I'm gonna hit subscribe. Once you hit subscribe, you'll see two things occur. Once it's gonna do this, and secondly, because we set that thank you page to Google, it's gonna take us to that page. Now let me go ahead and go back here to this page. Now when you come back the next time, your visitor is already set up on notifications, so they won't see that pop up. Now we're back here again, and let's pretend that the person X out. Now they can only X out of this if they want to press that X. When you press that X, you'll see on this bottom right hand corner that a little icon will pop up continuously based on it. And they can hit get notifications at any time. And it's a floating uh, image so that you can always follow the customer around. If they hit that button, it's always gonna pop this up where they can always allow. Now I'm in a different browser, so it looks a little bit different on this browser on Chrome so that you can see how it works on Chrome as well and it does the same exact thing, all right? Now let me back out of there and show you exactly what we're gonna be looking at in your dashboard. So we're here and we're gonna go ahead and refresh your dashboard and you'll see here that I did one Chrome, one Firefox, and one email subscriber. Now once this starts populating, you'll see that people are populating right now in the United States, which is both me, because I use two different browsers. Now, let's go ahead and jump over to push letters, which is how you're gonna go ahead and subscribe people or message people, all right? so. When you're here, you want to hit, you're going to hit send new push letter. When you click on that, you're going to have the same options where you can check different options and you can change everything here. So let's go ahead and do this. Hey, it's Jimmy showing off a demo. Uh, let me go ahead and there. Check push connect notify here. And we're going to type in push connect notify.com, right? And because we already created that campaign, you'll be able to pull that campaign and you can exclude anybody as well if you want. And you can even repeat the number of sends and you can schedule exactly when you want that letter to go out. So you'll see here that we went ahead and has two recipients. So we're gonna go ahead and hit all done. And within the next few seconds, we'll see it pop up here on the right hand side. And you'll see here on the right hand side where it popped up. It actually popped up twice because I'm gonna close one and close the second one. Because we use two different browsers, you're gonna see the Firefox and a Chrome pop up right here on the right hand side, as you can see that it's came. And if I click on it, it's gonna take me to this website. Now, we're on the Push Connect Notify. As you're seeing this, we're just a couple of days away from launch, so you're gonna see exactly how it works and you'll see that it's working just like it's supposed to. So now we're back on the main dashboard and you'll actually see that we've got two people on my list now. That was me on my demo and you can see one person has clicked on the link which I just did in front of you just a second ago. That's how easy Push Connect Notify is to use. One simple copy of code, a few clicks of a button, just setting your example and you can set it on any website you want. As you can see, Push Connect Notify is the next generation push notification software that every marketer needs. If you have a website, a blog, a landing page, e-commerce page, sales pages, or any other presence on the internet, you need Push Connect Notify. Using Push Connect Notify allows you to leverage 100% of your website traffic, build your email list, and keep in touch with your visitor. It works for Chrome, Firefox, Safari, and Android phones. 
and you can promote or sell any product or event without any other costs or restrictions. Now, on top of Push Connect Notify, we're offering three fast action bonus for those who decide to take action today. Fast action bonus number one, Push Connect Notify for Shopify, valued at $147. We've made it easy, enter your store information and boom, you're connected. Fast action bonus number two, Push Connect Notify plugin for WordPress, valued at $97. Look, we know some people love WordPress and giving you a web-based software doesn't always work. So we created a bridge. We still let you control your features and messaging from our cloud-based software, but you can leverage push notification on your website. Fast action bonus number three, 30 days of Sendlane, valued at $19. Now, we realize not everyone has an autoresponder, so I thought, hey, why not give everyone a free autoresponder service for 30 days of my service for free? It plugs directly into Push Connect Notify, and with your newly found email needs, we can help. Those three 100% free bonuses are well worth $263, all for yours for free, all for just grabbing Push Connect Notify today. So the only question left is, What's Push Connect Notify going to cost you today? Well, give me 30 seconds and I'm going to shock you. Trust me, you'll never expect what I'm about to tell you. See, Push Connect Notify took me about four months to develop and about $20,000 to create. We had three full-time programmers working away for months, not only coding, but creating logic and making full customizable options as you saw. When everything was done, we saw our competitors charging $197 a month or more with limited features and less messaging. But today, we're not gonna charge you $197 a month. During this special launch period, we're gonna do an insane special discount on the release. We're gonna eliminate all the barriers and offer Push Connect Notify at an introductory price of just $39. No extras, no rebills, no tricks, no gimmicks. Plus, you haven't even heard the best part yet. It comes with unlimited messaging, unlimited context, and unlimited personal use. So today, you get a membership into Push Connect Notify plus our $263 in bonuses all for just one single payment of $39. Yes, you heard me, just $39. Many of us call this insane for doing it, but like I said, we wanna make it really accessible to everyone, plus we wanted to get Push Connect notified to as many people in the world as we could. There's no reason why your website isn't grabbing 100% of your traffic while building your email list on full automation. But remember, this is just an introductory price. We're going to raise the price back up in just a few days. It would be silly of us to give our software this cheap when our software has more features and provides unlimited messaging, unlimited contacts, and usage. With that said, take action today. Click the button below and grab your copy of Push Connect Notify today.